Hello, my name is Megan Shermack. I will be discussing a project-based learning unit or a PBL unit that is geared towards kindergarten learners. This unit will be a science unit on animals, specifically winter animals. I have a notebook here next to me so I don't mess up my notes, so bear with me and I will explain the PBL unit that I have chosen. Our students will be learning about winter animals and animals that have to adapt in the winter. Students will be given research forms with a deer and a bear on it, or a hedgehog or a bear on it. It will ask them if the animal migrates, hibernates, or adapts, where they sleep, if it's in a cave, trees, or grass, and where it eats during the winter. Students will also be asked what do their animals eat in the winter, whether it's a bear and a deer, a deer and a hedgehog, or a hedgehog and a bear. They will be asked what their animals eat, how they live, and how they survive in the winter. This project engages student learning by giving them a problem to solve. And the problem that they are asked to solve is where does the animal live and how does it survive? Once the students figure out where their animal lives and how they survive, they will be building a habitat throughout the week with one animal of their choosing, and they will build that habitat so that animal can live there. Once they figure that out, they get to share that project with the class. They will bring it to school and present their project, their habitat, to their class. Project-based learning units uh, walk students through Bloom's taxonomy, and there are six steps to reach in Bloom's taxonomy. The first step that we will be discussing or looking for is creating. Students must use their prior knowledge to form new ideas and relationships. So when we are asking our students about the winter animals and what they already know about them, we will see what their prior knowledge is based on their answers. So we will ask, where does a deer live? Where does a bear live during the winter? What do you think it eats? The next step in Bloom's taxonomy is analyzing. Students will show the relationship between the animals that they have picked and they will evaluate that relationship and show what is being learned, what they're retaining, what they know, what they understand based on their prior knowledge from the creating process and what they are learning, which is new from the analyzing and evaluating process. When the students bring their project to class, we will go over these six steps. We want to know that they understand what is being presented, what is being asked of them, and if they are fully understanding. The six steps are creating, evaluating, analyzing, applying, understanding, and remembering. When they are presenting their project at the end of the week, us as teachers are going to be able to see if they have hit all six of these steps. From this PBL, students will be able to create a habitat they will analyze the relationships between the two animals they have picked. They will evaluate the relationship between the two animals and understand that they may have similarities, but they may also have differences. When students are presenting their habitats to the class, teachers will be able to check for understanding. When the students' classmates are asking them questions about their habitat, their animal, and the questions that we have hit all week, where they live, what they eat, how they survive in the winter, because we are learning about winter animals. Students should walk away from this lesson by understanding the similarities and differences between their winter animals, where they live, where they eat, and how they survive in the winter. I hope my video has explained a project-based unit that you can use for your future class. Thank you.